What <laughs> happened amazing. to what happened just a, a four three three Alu? Exactly. Just keep it simple. Exactly. <laughs> wingers well, follow the I fullbacks. Know. You might as well go back know. to four four two then. Yeah. Yeah. No, but, but, yeah, I but know, but yeah, but for not wingers the, the, if you're playing in the three, the the, the, the wingers on the three, you follow yeah. the fullbacks. You know, simple. Like, simple. It's, not, it's not hard, is it, Alu? Everybody knew their job and that exactly. was it. Fullback had to get you know, stop the winger and then if, if it, if the fullback went up the park, the, full, the winger, the two of the midfielders exactly. in, this, in, in the in centre mid can go <laughs> and join the attack. One sits. It's not hard, is it? It's, it's not rocket it's science. Like, it's like it's the not managers rocket are trying science. to like you know impress with their tactics and make it complicated. Was Players he, are probably he thinking be, like, was he trying to be too innovative then? Yeah, I think so. Like I, I love watching Graham Potter's Brighton side. You know, tactically they're um, unbelievable. Players always get two v ones. You know, keeping yeah. the ball so well, but. I just think last night, like, I seen the highlights and I'm thinking, like, where are people playing? Mm. Sometimes players can get too much information. I just want to go out there yeah. and know I'm playing left wing and I can cut inside, I can swap with my um, the right winger, I can swap with the striker. Do you know what I mean? A little bit um, of, of tactical knowledge. But last night was like, I just don't get it. Like, yeah. Condi says it's like, was it a 3-3, three, 3-1, three, three, <laughs> one, one, one. <laughs> <laughs> What was it? I know, it's a, it's a, but i tell you what it is. I mean, they're sitting bottom in that group, oh, Gabby. Yeah. Was, was, was it two games against uh, um, Milan coming up? In, was it Milan, we yeah. said? <sighs> I know. Start I mean, with a defeat. I mean, why can't, why can't you just have done, like, Havertz and Sterling either side of Aubameyang? Yes. Kovacic, Jorginho and Mount as a three. Yep. Do you know what I mean? Um, it, yeah, Jorginho, uh, you sit. It, yeah, two it, others can go forward. Correct. Yeah. Full backs but, but, go and um, go go fly forward. One of his might stay back. So if, what, what do you think his thinking hard. was then? Why would he have done what he did? I don't know. Maybe that. <laughs> maybe that. Uh, <laughs> that yeah. whiteboard um, alley. He just got a bit carried away. Did they? <laughs> 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 I know. I know. I always find. I always found um, Gabby players. Listen, they've obviously got to adapt to different situations, but I always found players like to be, you know, simple, know your job, don't complicate things, and go out and do it. Do you know what I mean? Now, I haven't seen that the whole game. I've got to be honest, and I'm, and I'm just I was watching the highlights, but I, I, it seems kind of straightforward to me. If you've got somebody like Raheem Sterling, who at this current time still looks to be your biggest goal threat by some considerable distance, I, I mean, it's. it's you just want him near the goal, don't you? You want him as near the goal as humanly possible. You don't want him back defending and he's he's at left back position. I don't know if that was the case. I haven't it, seen the game, but so Ali, are you thinking this is this is Graham Potter, Pep Guardiola esque? When we sometimes have spoken about him overthinking things. Uh, Pep no, I, I don't. I, it's, it's very unfair because, as I say, I haven't seen the game, and I've got an enormous respect for what Graham Potter's yeah. doing, mm-hmm. and I, and I really enjoy as, as Gab said, I enjoy watching his teams. So I, I'm going to enjoy watching the evolution of this Chelsea team under. Graham Potter um, and clearly he's not going to get it right in, 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 in his first game or indeed his first three or four games but it'll be interesting to see how, how the changes are how, and, 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 how, and, and, the, and the Brighton players have worked under him for three years so they know exactly yeah. what to do with his tactics it might so, take him you know five ten games mm-hmm. to get this Chelsea side to play exactly how he wants to understand you know the complicated positions they need to be in on yep. the pitch what he does need to work on definitely is the defensive side of, of Chelsea because they have been leaking goals this season we mentioned it earlier and they've only just kept, they've kept one clean sheet yeah. all season Gabby and also for Fana and Koudabali on the bench I mean obviously sure. the, the owner will be happy about sure. that I mean if I'm them them pair been mm. brought in for big money and you've got Aspilicueta mm. who's older now struggled for the goal you know I think didn't think he was sharp enough defending the goal Thiago Silva uh, made a mistake as well he needs to pick, you know, his best two centre backs and just give them um, game time. That, that's that's got to be Koulibaly and um, Fafana, the money they've been brought in for. Ah, that surprised me, Gab. No doubt about it. I did have a look at the bench. You know what I mean? And you look at the strong bench: Pulisic and Loftus Cheek, Chalabar. I mean, Chilwell. But you're right, Koulibaly and Fafana on the bench. That's that's a big win mm. because I still think. I know I mentioned an out and out goal scorer. But I still think they've got to get that right in the centre of defence. I keep going on about it. I'm a broken record. Rudiger, what a miss. I think as well, so just to add, it's different at Brighton, Ali, when you're you're dropping maybe McAllister, Lallana, mm-hmm. um, Sully March. Mm. Do that at Chelsea when you're dropping Koulibaly. Big, yeah. big names are on the bench. Ziyech, Pulisic, these players. He's got that problem now. How can he man-manage these players? Because players, when they're not playing, they're going to be sulking. They're yeah. not going to be happy, Ali. So he's got that problem. Can he? Can he um, bring that to his um, managerial career? 
That's well, a problem. Yeah, let's not forget that when Aubameyang came, he made the point of saying it was working with Thomas Tuchel again yeah. was the reason he, he mm. moved back to the Premier League. Um, no doubt Graham Potter has had big conversations with all of these key players yeah. and, and no doubt probably has had a chat with Aubameyang about yeah. trying to make sure it works. Go on. It's, uh, I'm just thinking, uh, you, you, you touched on it there and you make a great point. That I'm thinking about two players that you've got to have a you know a degree of, when I say sympathy, you, you, I'm certainly thinking, I wonder what they're thinking right now. You know, clearly Aubameyang's one of them. And the other one's Billy Gilmore, yeah. who, who's gone the other way. I'm thinking about yeah. wee Billy, and I'm thinking to myself, I wonder what wee Billy's thinking at this moment in time. And of course, you touched on it, Natalie. Obama Yang's gone there. I want to work with Tuchel. Bang, 40 <laughs> hours later, he's at the door, whatever it is. It, it's a bizarre, it's a bizarre yeah. game, isn't it? It really is. Even we, Chilwell, Ali, he's, yeah. he's probably thinking, oh, Cucurella is his guy from Brighton. Am I going to play as much? Yeah. All these things you think of as a player. Do you know what I mean? So it's got some interesting decisions to make this season. Talk Sport Breakfast with Alan Brazil. Thursday and Friday morning, 6 till 10 on AM, on DAB, via the Talk Sport app and on your smart speaker. Talk Sport.